student should now be aware that the Industrial Revolution from 1750 to 1900 was an unprecedented period of change. It was an exponential period of change. It hasn't stopped. Every aspect of life in Britain was changing, but critically apart from one, and that was the way in which our country was governed. The Britain of the mid-19th century was still governed in a way that the rural Britain of 1750 had been governed. And yet, huge change has taken place. Britain is now an urban rather than a rural country. Britain is now a country with a huge working class and a very big middle class, and yet not enough of them have got the vote. We are going to study how that system changed, having already discovered what was wrong with it. And one of the big groups responsible for that change were the Chartists. Now today we would refer to them as lobbyists. But they, along with the trade union movement, started to emerge. If the workers were not given a vote and were not given a voice, they would form their own organisations that would do it for them. That's what trade unions did for people who worked in the factories and people who wanted the vote formed a group called the Chartists. And of course they provide a huge dilemma for the government. How do you deal with these people who want to force change and take the power and control away from you? So, firstly, knowledge retrieval. Which of these statements refer to politics before 1832? And then the highlighting is done for you so the students can make their amendments. What do you already know about them? Chances are most students it will be very little to nothing. So watch the initial clip and answer the questions in your booklet. Then read the following fact file and color code the information. Who were the Chartists? What were their aims? What were their tactics? Were they a success? So we start the reading looking for the meaning and the responses to those four questions. The idea is the, te te um, the technique employed in today's lesson will be using colour coding to sort out what is and what isn't relevant in the text. Remember, most text on a page is not relevant, and we need students to be able to trash or treasure that information quickly and efficiently. It doesn't matter if it's on paper or on a computer screen, so it's a colour coding literacy task today. Now they can review how much they know and hopefully the shift will be from something on the left to something on the right. Now we're going to explore a usefulness question. So the knowledge replaced now by the skill. The usefulness question requires you to explain how useful a source is to a historian to carry out an inquiry. Those are the three levels there. Okay, task three, the usefulness question. How useful are sources A and B to an historical inquiry into the Chartists. Source A, an engraving. Source B, uh, a picture. Nature, origin, purpose. So you go back to the mark scheme on the previous page. Task four, as you read the example paragraph for source A, color code the sentences to show each of the three success criteria. And it's explained there. Now write your own response, but this time for source B. Finally, review the graph one more time. Next lesson, we will look at the suffragettes, but additionally, we want you to be familiar that that is another option for information gathering for this particular task.